Hi, I'm Gabe from Quadratic, and today I'm going to walk you through uh, how to best use AI in Quadratic, some tips and tricks, what it can and can't do, um, and just give some details on how you can make the best use out of, out of AI in Quadratic. Cool. So I'm going to start out with uh, actually just asking it what it can and can't do. Um, the AI has access to our documentation, um, so it has a really good sense of, of what it does well and what it cannot do. Um, I won't go through all these, but just some quick things to note. Uh, it's really great at writing code. So whenever you want to do some sort of analysis, uh, the AI is really good at generating code, putting that into uh, the sheet and helping with any sort of analysis. It's great at working with tables, great at charting. Um, it uses Plotly generally in Python. Um, some, things, some things that it can't do um, is formatting. Um, it can't uh, delete files. It can't create new files. It can't bring in outside um, data, um, but anything that you're doing within the spreadsheet, for the most part, the AI is really great at. And today I'll walk you through uh, some of those things. So I'm going to delete this um, and we'll go through some examples. You also notice um, when you are in the sheet chat over here on the left, uh, when you first come to it, um, it'll look like this and you'll have some, some samples, um, some example uh, prompts. So you can build a chart, give me some sample data, generate code. Um, I'll just click on one of these to, to show you. Um, and uh, it's really great at all these things. Um, so whatever you're doing in the sheet, you can you can always try to ask the AI, um, and it usually does it pretty well. Um, so here we see that it it generated uh, it generated a table, um, and then it's going to uh, generate a, a chart as well. Um, you can always you can always double click on any Python code to see um, the actual code behind it. And um, something that I'll actually show you now is this code chat over here on the right. So I'm gonna this out. Um, so this is uh, another another place where AI, AI exists in Quadratic, um, and this is really great for uh, editing a very specific uh, code, um, very a very specific code cell. So if I'm just looking at this, I'm going to say, you know, make the line green. Um, I could have done that in the sheet chat as well, uh, but the sheet chat has context on the entire sheet. Um, this code chat only has context on just this one cell. So if you're trying to do something very specifically, if you're trying to debug something, um, it, it can be really good to use this, this code chat over here. So I'm going to accept that. That looks good. Um, and something that you also notice is if you ever have an error, so if I do you know, something like this, one divided by zero, um, you can see this fix with AI button, and that's going to actually bring up this, this right chat as well um, and, uh, and try to debug there. So... I'm going to accept that. And now we see uh, an answer that's pretty good. Cannot divide by zero. Great. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you how a lot of our users are using the, the AI. I'm going to just get rid of everything here. Um, and I'm going to bring in some data. So let me drag in a CSV. So I have some, I have some uh, temperature data here. I'm going to use first row as columns, um, and I'm going to bring up the sheet chat. So something that I'll note is before I was doing something different, um, a lot of times when, you, when you're doing something new, you're going to want to create a new chat. So the AI has, has context of its previous, previous chat, but if you make a new chat, it's going um, to do a lot better. Uh, sometimes if there's too much going on, uh, it can get a little confused. So starting with this new chat you can also go back and see history so you can go to previous chats and you can click on either of these um, but i'm gonna start with this new chat um it's really good at understanding tables so if i want to say you know chart this um, or to be more specific i can say chart boulder uh temperature data dot csv um, and it's really good at understanding the tables on the sheet um, something to note is the AI has context on a lot of the sheet, but it doesn't have context on everything. So if you were to ask, as an example, what was the temperature high in you know, 2005 on a certain, certain date, um, it would have to generate code for that. It wouldn't actually be able to see uh, all the way down there. So that's just something to, important to note is that you know, if you have a really large CSV, it's not going to have all the context of everything. Um, and so... You, you're going to want to you're going to want to have a generate code for that, not try to get any answers using the AI. Um, so that's something important is we we always want the AI to give a method of analysis instead of an actual answer. Um, so cool, it generated this this graph, um, and I'm just going to kind of iterate on this a little bit. So I'm going to say like you know this is hard to look at. Let's group by monthly averages. So just as you might talk to another LLM, um, I'm just giving it natural language instruction, um, and it's going to hopefully give me something that's closer to what I'm looking for. Awesome.
Um, something I'll also just quickly show is uh, our different models. So Claude right now is, is the best. Um, you can toggle uh, different models. Um, highly recommend to use our default model Claude. Um, and then you can also toggle on thinking mode, which is, is really interesting. If you want to do something more complex, this won't be a more complex question, but if I want to say, you know, make the colors better, um, the thinking mode is, is is really really great for more complex complex tasks. Um, this only thought for only thought for a second, um, but if you have something really complex, um, it's going to it's going to do really well um, at, at generating something that it, that might be better than just a a um, uh, than one of the other models. Um, cool. So that, this looks great. Um, I can see it's it's interactive, so I can see all that. I can zoom in, do a whole bunch of things here. So that's awesome. Um, I hope this was helpful. This this is really meant to show you just a, a simple example. Um, and hopefully some of some of the ways that you can give you an idea of some of the ways that you can use AI in quadratic. Um, let us know if there's anything that that you'd like to see the AI be able to do. Um, we love hearing requests for new features. Um, and yeah, hopefully it's a it's a great experience using AI in quadratic. Thank you.